You guys, uh, can you guys hear me? Thumbs up. Yep. Okay, great. <clears throat> awesome. You can see the screen, right? Perfect. And I think Craig's just logging in here. I had some problems getting onto my own Zoom. That's always interesting. <clears throat> okay. So um, Craig's going to be jumping on here. I know that he was in the waiting room as well. So um, first of all, thanks for being here, guys. And um, wanted to um, wanted to um, take you through and have Craig talk to you a little bit about virtual assistants. You're, we're all hearing a lot about virtual assistants right now. There he is. Hey, Craig. Um, and the I'm here that it's having with. Um, with agents as well as leaders. Um, myself personally, I've had a lot of my clients um, ask me about virtual assistants and, and uh, for their agents and, and you know how to help them with their business, especially the top producers. So I wanted to, to have the creator of Cyberbacker um, come on, Craig Goodliff, Maps coach, you know, Vega agent himself, and just share a little bit about the the company Cyberbacker. And, and what it's, it's grown into with now over 600 virtual assistants that are working inside of KW. And I, um, so let's go ahead and get started. So Craig, you know, why don't you just, um, let's just, uh, I've got a you. couple slides here. If you wanna maybe just tell us a little bit about your story and how you got involved and created, you know, Cyberbacker, and then we'll, we'll open up to some questions. Rich, I appreciate the introduction. Uh, just being completely transparent and honest with people, uh, way before hiring out of the Philippines, if you handed me a globe and said, point out the Philippines on this globe, I, I got nothing for you. And uh, we went ahead and I'd heard about a concept of hiring virtually out of India. Uh, there's a book called Four Hour Work Week that kind of talks about that. I know some of you guys have read that. And uh, I started putting ads out on Craigslist just here in my local area. And someone replied, I was looking for an assistant at that time, and she was from the Philippines, and that's Daphne. Uh, here next month, she'll have been with us eight years, and she's consistent and one of the best hires I've ever made. And by the way, I lucked into that hire. I'd love to tell you back then my career visioning was really great. It wasn't because uh, I hired her followed by a bunch of people that didn't work out. So that's kind of what we did and for a while we played with this do we hire an office do we hire in, in uh, someone somewhere else and what's the difference and uh, we started hiring out of the Philippines in 2012 that was Daphne that was our first one and she did such a great job that we ended up hiring our someone to just do listing reports and uh, then we went ahead and I realized that I kind of I'm a big kid and I make a lot of messes and I said you know we almost need to hire me a babysitter what would happen if we did that? And that's kind of what turned into that, Rich, because I was in this organized mess that every morning, see Frank here, I know Frank goes ahead and he practices scripts every morning. I would practice scripts every morning, followed by, well, let me go ahead and decide who I'm going to call today. And by the time I got that done, my analysis paralysis kicked in and I had to see if they already listed. And then uh, once I made a few calls, I had to stop and update my database. It was just too slow and clunky. And what I found is when I have someone else just helping me with those little things, making sure I pick up the phone and make the call, type the notes into back then top producer seven, I not to brag. I know some of you guys have that and it was a horror story or is an exciting moment for you, but they just said, Hey, you know what? Make this call, call this person. And I eliminated myself from those little distractions and things. They basically ran interference for me. It's like the world changed. And I, and I hired a lot of wrong people and I had people say, you know, don't hire out of the Philippines. And why would you do that? And I had a virtual assistant. It didn't work. And I had a lot of them who it didn't work. I didn't understand career visioning was probably more essential hiring out of the Philippines than it is now. So that's kind of how this whole thing came together. I uh, went over to the Philippines my first time, Rich, in 2016, because one of our wonderful team members was getting married. And uh, she said, would you come? And I said, maybe. And her husband, he's a wonderful man. Uh, when they asked what language they wanted the ceremony in, he said English. And she said, Aaron, Aaron, he's a nice guy. You don't speak English. And he says, I know, but your boss is coming. And they're just that wonderful and that giving and kind. 
And I went over there and I know some of you guys, you're happy people and you do great. And I, I kind of was at a place in my life where I was, I was happy, but uh, I went over there and I saw people with less than I have and they were happier than I've ever been. And just going over and being exposed to that culture, the work ethic, the um, just the integrity, the kindness. And I said, I want to be more like this. And that's just kind of how it started. And Cyberbacker in, uh, you know, 2018, really a couple months before that, I had a great coach, Jeannie Osnes, and she said, I got to ask you, you've got a real estate team that sells 203 homes per year. That was our number that year. You coach. And at that time, I wasn't as awesome as Rich. I only had like 60 clients. Rich has like a kajillion. <laughs> uh, and she says, you'd have a real estate team, you have that. And I was coaching virtual leverage, which I was showing people how to hire out of the Philippines. And uh, she says, what are you doing that I'm not? And I said, I've got a great assistant. And she says, how? And how do you take time to slow down and train them? And I kind of forced it on Jeannie. I said, I'll just hire someone. I'll help you out. Well, another coach got word of it. And he was having the same challenge where he's working for when he wakes up till we went to bed seven days a week. And I helped him out. And I started creating some jobs. And that's kind of what morphed into Cyberbacker. And original, I'll tell you, it was only designed for MAPS coaches because like Rich here, I know how hard he works. And I know when a great coach is engaged and they care about their clients, how much extra time it takes to pay attention to every little detail and you need help. I built it for coaches and some of the coaches, they said, hey, this is great. And I'm gonna use it in my real estate business and good for them. Uh, which made it kind of morph because for the first, if you went ahead and contacted us back uh, for the first six months of 2018 when Cyberbacker was created, we probably referred you to someone else and said, here's someone who might be good. Uh, turns out they weren't. And we started having more applicants and more people than we could handle. So we just said we'd, we'd keep building it. And then uh, Rich and me, we got together. It was at Mega Camp. You remember that, Rich? We got together at Mega Camp. Yep. 2019, when we were still meeting in person, shaking hands and hugging. And Rich says, hey, I've got this idea. And I thought it was a great idea. And so far, Cyber Recruiter's been a fantastic idea. And it's taking someone who has a lot of industry knowledge, a lot of industry knowledge, can train others on it, spend time with them, uh, creating a community where people learn from each other, which that's probably the, one of the biggest things, and uh, has turned into Cyber Recruiter, which sets more appointments than I think some of the, the best in the business are even imagining. It's just because they have less interference. They're one thing. So that's some of the basics. And then when yeah. Rich and me were putting that together, we had this, uh, sorry, I can talk forever, nonstop. I don't even yeah. breathe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so excellent. So, you know, a couple of things too. So I'm an OP um, and, um, and a leadership coach. And, yeah. and, and like Greg said, um, we, uh, he exposed us to Cyberbacker as, as coaches. Uh, I hired a, my, my personal Cyberbacker that's on all my coaching calls, taking notes, doing things, sending out emails, just all the assistant stuff. And it was, honestly, it was like, it was, it was life saving and changing for me because I was doing all of that myself and coaching 65 to 70 clients um, and running offices and, 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 and having, you know, a, a virtual assistant, I thought, you know, is this really going to work because, you know, they're around the world, but I, I can't even tell you how um, the amount of, of time and, and how much it, it saves you having somebody that can actually do stuff for you literally at, at any hours of the day. So, so I experienced that personally. And, and then I, you know, was talking with Craig and I'm like, you know what, if we can get people like this, like the person that I have that works with me to make recruiting calls, because I can teach them what to say and we can create accountability and role play and, and do all those things. This is, this is huge because uh, like a lot of you, and I see David Connerman on there, you know, the, the OPs and the people that own market centers, you know, it, I've hired virtual assist. I've hired as, um, recruiters in the past, live people that were going to come in and make recruiting calls and people I paid to do that and all those things over the years. And it, it, it didn't seem to work out. And what I liked about this is that you have somebody that's 40 hours a week, right? That's not distracted, like Craig's saying, because they're mm -hmm. in their in their home. They're they're there working for you 40. They don't have the got a minutes and I got to fix the copier and I have to go to lunch and I have to do this and I have to do, I'm calling in sick and you know, all the stuff that we deal with. Right. And 
and it's unbelievable the amount of, of productivity um, that you're able to get. So the virtual assistants, and, and, and you know, because you work with a lot of mega agents, Craig, I mean, the, the top agents have virtual assistants. You know, I mean, Gary even, even talks about that. So the, the thing that's great about it is, is it takes away all of that work um, that we're spending $15 an hour work that we're doing um, and, and allow us to be more productive. And we all know that. The, what's unique about, about CyberMarker yeah. as a company is that they're, we're only hiring 2% of the people that apply. And then they take, they're taken through the career visioning process, right? They're KPA'd. We're following the Keller Williams system, right? Then they're, they're trained on some basics on Keller Williams and what we're all about, right? And then they're trained specifically on the individual client's needs, whether it's a mega agent needing administrative help, whether it's somebody that wants to make calls to FISBOs and expireds and, and internet leads, or whether it's somebody that's going to make recruiting calls for team leaders and market centers. And then we, we created a productivity backer which is built around the new dependent model that Gary's talking about, where we'll have somebody that's mm -hmm. going to manage with a productivity coach um, or, or just the dependent model, the Facebook internet leads or whatever lead system you're using, vet those leads out and then put them into command, put them on a spreadsheet, help the productivity coach if you are a productivity coach so that those leads can be managed versus just handing out leads to agents and hoping they're going to call and follow up and, you know, call more than one time when they don't answer the phone. So that's what productivity backer is, is, is based on. And it's all the same thing. It's virtual assistants that are trained specifically to do certain things. And we profile them, you know, based on who's going to be great on the phone or who's going to be great at administrative tasks based on the career visioning process. So, with that, we've got about 600 of them in the company, you know, right now, and it's just growing and growing because of especially what's going on in the world where, like for me as an OP, my front desk person who I was, you know, paying $30,000 a year for, right, that now I don't have because of the pandemic, I'm able to literally, I'm getting ready to hire my third, I'm, I'm, I can hire two 40 hour a week people for the same price as I could, the same amount of money as I could, one live person that I'm not going to get as much productivity out of. So, so that's that's one of the things that I think is really important to point out is the economies of scale, well, especially now that a lot of us are virtual and digital. Yeah, Craig. And, and Rich, one of the other things is you got to remember the person you're hiring. And we yes, we only hired two percent. We took the KPA that Burke built, and we said, can you build us something? just like it for Cyberbacker, and they did. Uh, so KW Agency, been through career visioning, you know how to read the sucker. Uh, but the person you're hiring, a lot of these call centers in the Philippines, they're scaling down. So you have someone who's been on the phone five and 10 years, some of the best ones that they have literally left their home. Some of them have had to travel two hours to go to work, to not make a ton of money. I even know some people they had to live in the call center because the commute was so terrible. I mean, they have places you can sleep there and you go eat in the food court and see your family once a week for about 12 to 24 hours. That's horrible. So we're taking someone with that level of experience and bringing them in where answering the phone from home and they sound great, noise canceling headphones, and they're kind and they're already trained on uh, great customer service. Uh, I mean, that's what you're doing. And the more you see people use online uh, artificial intelligence chat, uh, the more you're going to see people start working from home. We've had fantastic people that have said, you know, I spent 10 years and 15 years in the call center industry. And that's just incredible because some people, I had someone call me, someone always virtually answers my phone, Rich. And they said, you start hiring out of the U.S. I said, no, I just hired someone who had a better accent because they're taught English in kindergarten and people are, do they speak English? Yeah, Philippines was part of the United States up until 1952. So, yeah. Yeah, the profiles of the people that I see, because I look at, at the profiles of, of the candidates that we're pairing with, with the clients. Yeah. And they speak great English. Most of them have, have uh, college degrees. Um, a lot of them have incredible experience yeah. in call centers and, and all kinds of things. I mean, you, you'd be really surprised on how many 28-year-old people have college degrees, have been in the workforce for eight years, speak great English, and you're like, 
unbelievable. I, I, I was really blown away with, with the quality. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, you look at the difference between Cyberbacker and some of the other online uh, virtual assistant programs. And I think that the main thing is that this has really been built by KW people. So they're trained on, on command, especially on the, on the leadership side. Um, they, they, know our, they know our culture. They're exposed to so training around who Gary Keller is and who Keller Williams is and what we're all about, our lingo. And again, their career vision. So they're, they're coming through our process. Um, we've even put, Craig's even uh, put a profit share program together for them. Um, so just modeled Keller Williams into this company that he's created, which allows us to have great retention and attract great talent, just like at Keller Williams. And um, I, I would say that's one of the main things. Um, and, and then again, you know, how much it, how little it costs to have a 40 hour a week personal assistant making prospecting calls, doing admin or setting up recruiting appointments. So on the screen, you know, there's, we've got hundreds of these. This is, these are some, you know, testimonials on cyber backer. Here's some on cyber recruiter, um, you know, so, and they, and it ranges from 1300 to $1,500 a month. There's a, there's a setup fee that, that goes to the people that actually hire career vision and train the people. Um, and then the, the money, the, the monthly basically pays the wage of your personal assistant. So that's kind of how, how it works. Mm -hmm. If you guys have some questions, you know, we can open it up for some questions, but it's really kind of that simple. Yeah, Anybody Thanks, Rich, I'm gonna tell you, cause I originally, I didn't go through a company. I hired on my own. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, you know, you can do that. Or what about all these other companies? We talk about profit share. We profit shared $106,000 year to date. And we, Hit it. We had a COVID bump. We had some months. It wasn't awesome profit and cut some expenses, cleaned it up. Now it's awesome profit. If you look at, you know, that's the thing that keeps them plus benefits. I mean, we have medical benefits. They have an opportunity to opt into. That makes a big difference for retention. When you look at like just applicants, Rich, just this week, we've had 1,919 people apply to be a cyber backer. We interview 24 seven. We also were pretty close to having 24 seven education. So they can jump into a class anytime. Um, each of our head backers, World Cyber Backer Accountable, they do two trainings a month. So on average, we'll have 60 different training opportunities every month plus masterminds. So the ones who are using command at a high level can teach other people who already know command to use it at an even higher level. And so people are getting the most out of command, but uh, 708 interviews just this week. Of those wow. 708, uh, sadly to say, only 39 of them found a job here with us uh, year to date 40 for let's see 44,628 applications we only interviewed 20,934 and unfortunately only 655 have been placed in a job because we have quality control so David Condiment I think you had a, a question yeah yeah um, the, what, what, what's the difference rich between um, cyber backer and cyber recruiter Yes, so it's just a different division. It's all under the same company. So the, the yeah. cyber recruiter division is a division that I, that I um, you know, am, am involved in and, and, and run, and that's for the, the leadership on recruiting and appointment setting and, and so forth. So just to give you an example, on average, because I, I role play with them every week, um, as well as all the training and role playing they're doing every day with their teams, um, but we, um, we're averaging, there's about 175 cyber recruiters in the company since, since February already working for market centers. We're averaging on average out of all of those people, 40, 40 appointments set about 20% show this is market share appointments. So for $1,500 a month, 20 market share appointments that actually show up. We have some, as you, as you saw on the, uh, the previous slide. Um, we have some that are, that are booking 50, 60 appointments a month because the show rate um, varies from, from state to state and area to area. So right. as you know, and in leadership, I mean, that's a, that's a no brainer if you can have somebody for $1,500 a month setting 40, 50 appointments. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing on the cyber um, recruiter end. And which, which program is it that um, supports yeah. if we want to start a lead management um, division, like in our PC program or something like that, which one? would support that that is the productivity backer at productivity. the bottom there yeah so okay. yeah 
vetting out mm-hmm. the leads from Facebook Lead Accelerator. Help them. Mm-hmm. You have to have a productivity coach manage the, the tracking of that and the red robin of that and you know putting them in command so you can create a market center database. So it's basically like a team would have, okay. right? For the market centers for Gary's new model. And do they also um, do lead follow up calls and things like that as well, or is it just the management of the system? Nope, they'll do whatever you want. They'll either do the management from an admin standpoint, or they'll actually be the prospector, which is what most people are doing. Like, for example, I ran a bunch of Facebook um, ads, um, gave them to a a team of agents that were going to pay a referral fee to the market center. They called the the leads like once, maybe twice, and right. nothing happened. So um, our person is calling, vetting out the leads, and then giving an actual real referral to the agents that's documented, tracked, you know, um, so we can follow up with them and, and so forth. Okay, gotcha. Well, and one step further, David, they work, they talk to each other. So someone will go ahead and say, what script's working really well? or what touch is getting a lot of engagement. And the community, it's amazing because I ask people, what are people doing for lead follow-up? What's working the best? And we have a pretty awesome best practices that they collaborate on, plus daily scripting that they have an opportunity to be a part of. So they get really, really good at that lead conversion piece, both verbally and text. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Another question. And then uh, another question that I just got in the chat here, Rich, people are wondering about different CRMs. We've supported, every, you haven't named the CRM we probably haven't seen before and the last one was an old one, Red Tools, for people who remember that. Some people are wondering about Salesforce, Goldmine, things like that. More than likely, we have someone who is using it, we can find out for sure. And sometimes if it's important to you, we'll actually go hire someone who's experienced with it. We had someone who uh, uses Zoho, we actually hired a programmer for a little bit who had worked for Zoho. So we had someone who knew the CRM back and forth in and out, up and down and how to make it do anything. So if we don't have it, we can get it. And we have the means to do that. Claudia had a question. Uh, Yes. Do you have any bilingual people? Salamat. Most of them speak six languages. Okay. Tagalog. Sabuno. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. So we can have different languages depending on what you want. We've had people that speak, obviously in the Philippines, there's six different dialects. Most of them speak English. We've had Spanish speaking. We've had Arabic. We've had all sorts of stuff. So very possible to find that. Yep. I just want to make sure. So what I'm hearing is that the difference between you guys and just going to this other site where you can hire them because I've tried to do that. And the challenge is in the training. Mm-hmm. It, it really is because mm-hmm. you can hire somebody for less than this, but it's going to be, I, I, I've done it where it's going to be useless because you still have to invest the time in the training. And that's what we don't have. I, I, or I just don't know how to train yep. a person. <laughs> <laughs> Not only are you training them, they have a head know backer what you're good that's at, right? holding them accountable every week. <laughs> yeah, and and they're they're having a job shadow right as they start for the first couple weeks where they're being trained, and that person's observing. Did they show up on time? They're evaluating. Is their understanding there? So they're their first two weeks with someone, just making sure they're trained and they're going to be a good fit. And just like everybody else, no one's no one's great until they've been with you for ninety days. Once you've gone through 90 days with someone, you know if you've got someone good. Um, And as much as training is a big thing, hiring the wrong person is a bigger thing because we heard all the time that someone wasn't trained. And yet when we go ahead and we've heard that from people, we go back and look, it was the wrong hire to begin with. And the personal claim, I wasn't trained, but really it's called I slept in and uh, didn't make it to work. Or, you know what, I just didn't feel like working. And they'll say I wasn't trained, but it wasn't the real issue. Yeah, so that's one of there's the a lot that's that goes of, into that, but yeah, yeah, and that's why we we screen everybody. You know, we hire only about two percent of the people, um, and their KPA, their career vision, so that we can hire the right people, and then the training is is absolutely critical. And they're they're being trained every single day, 
Um, they're accountable you can, with their, their head backers. Everybody has like a head coach that's, that's, that's making sure that, that they get what they need and that their numbers are being managed and they're hitting the numbers of whatever that client's expectations were. And then every client, at least on the re, um, cyber recruiter end, every client gets an end of the day report. So I can see how many dials were made, um, how many appointments, you know, all that's contacts. I can see what administrative work was done specifically, how many uh, hours of the eight hours where it was spent. And I get that report every single day, which is more than I get from my employees, right? So, I mean, it's, it's a really, it's, it's, a, it's a great, um, great accountability system. So the productivity backer is the one that has the accountability built in? Now for you, Claudia, because Claudia is one of, one of um, my agents, um, you, would, you would be a cyber backer because you're, you know, you're an agent, so you would want somebody that's going to help you make prospecting calls or help you with administrative. So you know, cyber backer is, is where, you know, where we would direct you. The and productivity I'll be like backer our, is really for a market center. And I'll be like our sellers. What is the one-time mm -hmm. setup fee? <laughs> cyber backer? So that... That covers right there. Uh, going through after someone sits down with you and they go through your job description, it doesn't matter if the person you're looking for is one out of 100 or one out of 500. That covers us going ahead or our career backers going ahead, doing the interviews, going through applications, validating KPAs. We do a lot of cyber stalking to make sure that they're an on point person. But that's basically your uh, covers the cost for CV. Rich, I apologize. I uh, I gotta get my next appointment. But guys, feel free to reach out. Rich is yeah. fantastic. There's the website link there. Uh, yeah. Appreciate you guys. Okay, C Craig, Thanks for thank you, here, Rich. Uh, yeah, you See got you it. All right, so, 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 thank to, you. Uh, to, answer, yeah. Take so care. to answer that question real quick, Claudia, so for Cyber Backer, the setup fee is 500. For Cyber Recruiter and Productivity Backer, it's 750. Okay, and, and that fee pays for the people that recruit, career vision, onboard, and train them, okay? So that's, that's the fee that pays them. So he has it all structured like in Keller Williams where these dollars pay for that group, this dollar pays for this division. And then the, the amount um, for your 40 hours a week is depending on if it's 40 hours a week um, and that goes for the wage of the person that was hired. Okay, now why is it different for Cyberbacker 1300 versus 1500? Because the quality of the person is a little bit higher in those other two um, divisions, recruiter and backer, right? Uh, productivity backer, meaning meaning that you know they're making recruiting calls or you know some other things. So it's it's basically we have to we're paying for the talent that can fit those roles, and we have to pay more for the talent for obvious reasons that need to be able to 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 do more things. There's some cyber backers that get paid three thousand dollars a month that are just like do all kinds of things. So this is, this is pretty much what the basic is that'll get you somebody really, really good. Okay, so hopefully that, that answered your question. Yes, thank all right, you. Any, you got it. Anybody else? You can always go to um, this link that I think's in the chat too and just click on it and, and then go right to the website and then somebody will contact you if you wanna talk to our, our team, our customer service team to ask all the specific questions, take a look at what the contract looks like, whatever you want to do. Um, just go to the link and, and check it out and you can, you can see um, what, what it's all about. Okay, does anybody have any other questions before we wrap up? All right, thanks for being here. Thanks, Rich. Okay, guys, we'll see ya. Take care. Bye-bye.